Okay, so in our video series on step by step hypertension treatment, in this video, we'll be talking about hypertensive crisis. Hypertensive crises are defined as systolic blood pressure greater than 180 mm of Hg or diastolic blood pressure greater than 120 mm of Hg. That is called as hypertensive crisis. Now, the next thing that you have to see if the patient has blood pressure like this, that whether there is end organ damage present or not. If the end organ damage is present, that is called as hypertensive emergency and it has a different management protocol. Then when the end organ damage is absent, in, when the end organ damage is absent, it is called as hypertensive urgency. What counts as an end organ damage? If the patient develops myocardial infarction, if the patient is having unstable angina as evident on ECG or cardiac markers, that is end organ damage. It means that the organs are being affected by this high blood pressure. If the patient is developing acute renal failure, if you see elevated creatinine, deranged RFTs, if the patient develops ischemic stroke, if the patient is having intracerebral hemorrhage, or if the patient is developing symptoms of hypertensive encephalopathy like headache, confusion, altered mental status, it means that the organs are being damaged. That is hypertensive emergency and hypertensive emergency must be treated as quickly as possible. Or if the patient has pulmonary edema or aortic dissection, that counts as end organ damage. You see that on chest x-ray. So if the end organ damage is present, that is hypertensive emergency. So if the end organ damage is present, that is hypertensive emergency. If the end organ damage is absent, that is hypertensive urgency. Now, what is the treatment of hypertensive urgency? Hypertensive urgency, the aim is controlled reduction of blood pressure. In urgency, we reduce blood pressure over days, not in hours. So we slowly bring back the blood pressure to a normal range. We do not quickly drop the blood pressure. Why do we not quickly drop the blood pressure? Why is it treated over days, not in hours? Because sudden drop in blood pressure can cause stroke. So to avoid stroke, we reduce the blood pressure slowly over days. Now, how do you reduce the blood pressure of the patient? You advise bed rest and you there is no ideal hypotensive agents used for it, but mostly we use oral atenolol and oral long-acting calcium channel blocker. Oral drugs are being used to bring back the blood pressure slowly to a normal range. That is the treatment of hypertensive urgency. Hypertensive emergency has a different management. Hypertensive emergency patient is developing end organ damage. Patient is having focal CNS symptoms, seizures, coma. In the presence of these end organ damage, you have to reduce blood pressure in hours rather than days. You insert an intra-arterial line for BP monitoring and you reduce the diastolic blood pressure to almost one then over four hours. So in hypertensive urgency, we were reducing blood pressure in days because the patient was not having severe symptoms, severe end organ damage. In hypertensive emergency, we are reducing blood pressure in hours, but in even in hypertensive emergency, we do not drop blood pressure very rapidly. What we do is that we avoid decreasing blood pressure to greater than 25% in the first two hours. Almost 25% blood pressure is decreased in the first two hours, and in the next two to six hours, you bring the blood pressure to level of 160 to 100 and then you slowly gradually bring back bring it back to the normal range so even in hypertensive emergency we are bringing the blood pressure to normal ranges uh, within hours but we bring it back slowly and gradually we are not doing going very quick because it increases the risk of stroke you either give iv labetalol 50 milligram IV over one minute and you repeat it every five minutes till you reach a maximum dose of 200 milligram. Or you give sodium nitroprusside infusion to control the blood pressure in hypertensive emergency. If you see, we are giving these drugs IV rather than oral for a rapid reduction of blood pressure in hours. One very important thing is that you never use sublingual nifedipine to reduce blood pressure because it causes a rapid drop in blood pressure and it can even cause stroke. In summary, systolic pressure greater than 180 mm of Hg and diastolic pressure greater than 120 mm of Hg is hypertensive crisis. If end organ damage is present, hypertensive emergency. If the end organ damage is absent, hypertensive urgency. 
this is all end organ damage if the patient is having mi renal failure stroke hypertensive encephalopathy and all this hypertensive urgency needs to be treated with oral drugs and you reduce the blood pressure over days not in hours because sudden drop in blood pressure can precipitate stroke hypertensive emergency patient is already having end organ damage you reduce the blood pressure in hours not in days but even uh, in hours you go in a slow fashion what you do is that you reduce blood pressure to almost 110 over 4 hours and then you bring the blood pressure to range of 160 by 100 in the next 2 to 6 hours and and then you bring the blood pressure back to normal ranges after some time so even in hypertensive emergency you are going slow to reduce the risk of stroke you give iv drugs iv labetalol and nitroprusside never use sublingual nifedipine because it causes rapid drop in blood pressure and can cause stroke so this was all about hypertensive crisis if you liked my video please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on step by step hypertension treatment thank you very much the link of those videos is given in the description below